YouTubers, what's going on folks? This is Dan French, LV Crib Tours. I'm out here at Sky Canyon, uh, Toll Brothers at Sky Canyon, and we're gonna look at the uh, Bergamo. Uh, the Bergamo is three three to four bedrooms, two full bath, one half bath, two car garage, 2389 square feet, a little bit bigger than the property we just saw, the Avella. And so I wanna talk about this. You have the Spanish Contemporary, Modern Craftsman, and Modern Farmhouse. And again, this is all about elevation and style of home in the front pavers and one of the things I want to look at on this house is before we get into the house this is going to be the modern craftsman color scheme is seven so there's certain things you can get upgrades on this house uh, the pavers do come with the house I'm going to give you guys a nice tour of the home $160 HOA upgrade costs and things that I'm going to point out throughout the house if you guys have any questions let's go take a look at the Bergamo hopefully you guys like it all right we're heading into the Bergamo and um, pavers in the front, two car garage. Like I said, starting price point on this. Man, the smell of paint is crazy over here. They're just painting like crazy. Um, this is the Craftsman, so this is the middle model. This is elevation and style of home in front, 574,995. Again, uh, some of the upgrade costs, five to 45,000 on lot premium. And then upgrades is about 10 to $15,000 I've heard that beautiful be this is beautiful by the way this opening here i've heard that a lot of people are paying upwards of a hundred thousand dollars in upgrades i don't know how true that is but you know you're gonna have people try to sell right uh those glass um staircase of so the stairs the rails this glass stair rails um those are going to be a premium to get those that's 15 to twenty thousand dollars upgrade for those you have the metal which is like 10 to 15,000. So this is a huge upgrade right there, as you can see walking in. And it's the big foyer and also open area wide, very extra wide here. I really like that. Uh, you're gonna have options for flooring, $70,000 throughout the house that you can get, uh, you know, vinyl wood flooring or tile throughout the house. They're gonna have that in wet areas. If you're going to get carpet, $8,000 upgrade costs on that. So right off to the left, you see that we're walking into a, this is just you can make this into a room if you want if you put a closet this is just an office room so this is out to the front which they do a lot on these new homes just the style and then here there's you have your just your private toilet and you have wall decor all the way to the top tile it's going to be an upgrade it does make it pop a little bit standard uh, faucet and sink let's go back to the front here um, Looking at this house, two 10-foot ceilings again. Let's walk in and see how this, this model looks and what we're looking for here. Um, let me see, I just wanna even this out. So, right there, looks like they have a LED fireplace. You can get that LED fireplace for just the standard electric. It's gonna be um, $8,000 if you wanna get gas. It's all the way up to $16,000. And let's kind of look at this open floor plan that we see here. Really like what I see here on this floor plan. Um, as you can see, we're looking at the cabinets. Cabinets, $22,000 plus on upgrades for the cabinets, $3,000 plus on options for backsplash. So some of the appliances will come. You can get upgraded, but uh, you know, this is KitchenAid that they have in this house. Bergamo and then I like the fact that you, you can kind of hang out there and if you have to work It's almost like an office area a secondary office area or just a place for you to read or be on the computer While you're watching TV all convenience, right? So coming back over here They have this is the dining area now I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't have a problem with it, but just having a dining area right next to really the living area I think that's a style that a lot of these builders are go after. But you can see, a lot of area of prep. What I do like about this house is there's, it's wide in the areas in the kitchen. I like the uh, upgraded door right there for the glass pantry door. And they've taken this all the way to the top. You can see $22,000 plus on that as far as, this is locked so you can't get in here. But just giving you, that's the pantry. KitchenAid throughout. That looks like it's the outdoor to the garage. And this is what you would see from the kitchen. So one of the light fixtures looks like it's broken or fallen. It's all right, it still looks beautiful, right? Um, 
So, French door is going outside. You can, it comes standard at eight feet, you can get it to 12 feet. It's gonna cost you an extra 12 grand though. So if you wanna get an extended, and then this French door opening, that's gonna be an upgrade cost. So, would I do it? Probably if I'm buying a new home. Uh, I think you, you don't wanna go crazy, but you also wanna get certain things that the bones of the house that's gonna be appealed because you gotta think about resale. Anytime you buy any house that's resale, what is somebody gonna want? They're gonna want these, these style doors, right? Jacuzzi does not come with the house, so does no pools or anything like that. But you can see they have a nice outdoor jacuzzi here. Pretty sweet. Um, patio cover, from my understanding, does not come with the house. There is an option to that, and then they just have the barbecue again. All the landscaping and everything outside does not come with the house. Gives you some ideas. Somebody once told me that, you know, everything's negotiable. But they probably won't put that in. It'll be like another contractor. I'm sure you can figure out how to get that but it'll be a separate contractor. So let's go upstairs. You know that the, every time you go upstairs, or at least on these models, the ceiling comes down by a foot. Glass rails, huge upgrade, $15,000, $20,000. Let's go over here. All right, so what stands out to me is you got a nice loft. We're now at nine foot ceilings. This is all upgrade too, like everything you see on these houses. Look at the big baseboards. That's four and a half inch baseboards minimum. So maybe bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, it's about four and a half inches of baseboard. So I love how that pops. It makes this whole new area, new, new homes pop. Also, if I'm getting a new home, I'm doing that. So let's keep going. And um, right off to the right, you have your first bathroom, dual sink. You see that? Um, looks like standard shower, uh, standard faucet and handles. But there's an upgrade on the cabinets and the tile, which gives you another look that's almost like a, a gray, dark gray. Let's see if we can go through here. I do like what they've done on the shower enclosure. That is definitely an upgrade. And also the tile on the bottom of the shower. Little uh, dense. For me, as, as far as getting into the shower and out of the shower, there's not a lot of room there though, but it's fine. Um, over here, so it looks like they got a uh, brick for wall decor. You can get that anywhere. I've seen a lot of the, the bricks like that, look how they've done this. Standard closet, eight foot doors. That's, what's this? All right, so you got your linen's closet here. So, everybody always says, where's the washer and dryer, Dan? Where's it at? That's upstairs, right? Uh, cabinets, $15,000 upgrade if you want to put that in. Here's just a standard shelf. Whirlpool appliances, $6,000 for that upgrade on all the appliances if you want to do that. And that those baseboards just stand out. There's a huge baseboards. Um, we're going into the owner suite here. Similar to the other house, you got your deep walk-in closet. Nothing spectacular, just standard. And then looking over here, you have the wall decor tile in the back. Um, I, I really like what they've done with it. I do. Uh, I don't. I think that that fixture is too low. I would take that out. That's definitely not going to work for me. Uh, but you look at this, probably 25 by 25. It's not a huge owner suite room. Pretty good size, but again, we're talking Sky Canyon 500,000. So there's the tub I'm talking about where you have the combo and. That's a huge upgrade, as you can see, and um, $9,000 just for the tub. The combination is probably going to run you at least $30,000 for options and upgrade if you want that. And they've also stayed consistent on the wall over here. And you have dual sinks and the tile. I really like this style, this tile, similar to what's downstairs. And then here is just your private toilet. So. But I mean, this is just, I, I like it. It's a nice walk-in uh, style glass. I would prefer it all the way to the top. It's pretty close, I mean, you can't, but I would prefer it. And then the tub. Thing about the tub though, is you have a, a, you know, a window right there where somebody can see you. So you really have to make sure that you have something covering you getting out. Um, so that, that's not a lot of privacy with the house being that close, but 
I'm sure you can figure that part of it out if you really want a tub. Let's walk over here. And this is bedroom number three. So this is a smaller bedroom, standard closet, and place for, you know, your desk or just if you want to be on the computer. I love the windows. Nice view of Red Rock, or at least that's the area of Red Rock out there. Um, more to your left, really, because we're past Red Rock. Uh, over here, probably a you know 12 by 12 room. I like to always get from the doorway of how big the room will be so you can get an idea how big the room is. So it's not a very big room, uh, but that's where you come in, right? So here, right, when you walk up the stairs, we bypassed that room. We went right to the other room, the bathroom and the owner suite. This is the loft. This is a plus. I love the loft. Ceilings, 25 feet, maybe 30 feet from, from ground to, to top. Um, but again, all these upgrades, all these options, right? So if you guys have any questions on this house, Bergamo, and this one is three, four, three to four beds, starting price point 579, uh, 574, 995. That's the Modern Craftsman, 574-995. Like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys at the next one. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys at the next video.